Hey guys, this is Merlin, and I'm doing a tutorial on how to um, make an XP farm with a zombie spawner, or a sp actually not a spider spawner, just the skeleton and a zombie. You know, because spiders can climb walls, that's annoying. So, yes, this... I couldn't find one. I looked for like an hour, but I couldn't find one. So, basically, there's going to be three um, blocks of space on each side, three blocks up, up the to the ceiling, you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to break, peel off a layer on the side to where it's four blocks, four blocks um, from the middle, from the spawner. You know, Might want to fill those back in. Oh, that's a stone monster egg. Ew. There we go. Normal stone. It, normally, this will have moss stone and normal cobblestone in it. But this time, it doesn't. So, what you'll see in the middle is a cage with some type of mods, mob spit, spinning around inside it. You want to go and line up, light up the place before you, you know you don't want to break it and you want to light up the place so it can't spawn anything and then you want to go two blocks down so you go two blocks down and Since it's nine blocks across, your last block on the edge, a strip of your last block on the edge, will have to be, you know, a, a water trough. So, it's going to have to be two or actually three blocks deeper. But just two blocks down, because if you don't know, then the, the mobs can spawn on top of the spawner. So right here, uh, the feet will be right here. The head is up there. That's why you just leave the ceiling the same and two blocks below the spawner and then four blocks from the spawner. You know, the, 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 um, where the actual spawner is is one of the corners, but I have no idea which one. It's either this one, that one, that one, or that one. <laughs> All four corners. I don't know. But since I don't know how to find which side it is, go and watch King Daddy Dmax videos because he knows things that are smarter. You know, you might want to mine the ores that are here, but I don't want to because I'm creative and I don't have any need for ores. So then you get a water bucket. Put it along one side, as you can notice, it just goes to here. Poop. So, yeah, you want to go two blocks down so that they can't jump back up and swim back up uh, over here because, you know, it's a problem. Hey, look, somebody's home. Well, now you have got to put this here. And uh, th here we go here. And uh, you can't bring them up and drop them anymore because, you know, death happens. So that's the point, but... Whatever you get the... What, what I'm trying to say, right? Yes. Where is the signs? The signs should be here. So signs, if you put them... If you just let the... Uh, like, okay, so signs sometimes break, they sometimes don't. So you're just going to have to deal with it. So you want to take them, like, one or two of these away before you drop them into your crusher system. That's what I like to call it. Oh, poop. There we go. This is perfect. Come on. Break. Okay, there you go. Now you go three blocks down. 
break those blocks and then you do this place a block there or actually no you need a sticky piston oh, okay um, you only need one sticky piston <laughs> you're gonna need some redstone repeaters some redstone and I don't need that anymore I need and then you need a lever so you put that there then you put any solid block right there you put that there actually you're gonna need some of these hoppers as well right below them and then you need some decoration blacks some type of half slab or the half slabs in here where are the dumb half slabs there we go so you want one there and one there so that the baby zombies are if you don't or if you aren't using zombies then you can just do this but since I'm since I'm just pretending to use zombies because that's the most complex one I'm going to be using that okay so I don't have an intro anymore guys you guys didn't know that some things went on between me and the person that made my my intro and then I just decided who cares I'm not gonna use this intro anymore because you know it's not worth it so then what you want to do is you want to be right here you want to be able to be right here and you can use a sword or your hand without falling so you're gonna have to find one if you're gonna f make it fall pretty close to the surface. I mean, I found one in my survival world. It was pretty close to bedrock. So I tried to make them fall, but then you only had three. They had three full hearts left by the time they got down to bedrock. So, and the water streams where th they don't they don't fly up anymore as well as they used to. So there's no way to bring them back up without like pistons or something. So I got annoyed. So, yes, you can do that. Or maybe you could do that. Hey, check it out. Bedrock's right there. Do that and do that. That. There we go. Now you just, you know, use a sword. Whack people. Because, you know, there's no way to get it down to a one block thing. So, yeah. Now it's down to the red stone. Dank. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, I'm gonna need to put that there. And you put that, put that there. The, the potato. I'm sorry, I said potato. Because. <laughs> so I need the, 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 the thing. This thing. And then I put that there. And then I do that. And this. And that. And this. And then this and 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 this poop and then I do that so as you can see through the thing it crushes them crushes their heads so yeah I don't think I, so there's a part, certain spot so you're not going to be able to be here so you should probably have a thing that goes up to the spawner, a staircase that goes up to, like, right next to the spawner, you know, so you can, you don't have to be in the same room as the spawner, you know, you just gotta be near it, so, like, right here is where I would be, like, except block off the wall. But for the final step, you have to break all this, these torches, you know, the light, the, the, the spawner in this situation is a it's a jack-o'-lantern, and that makes... Oh my gosh, that scared me. Gosh. So, yeah, that makes light in itself. So, I'm gonna get... Some zombies.
So yes. Let me turn down my sound for a second. What I like to do in my other world is I just sit here and let them all spawn for like 30 minutes AFK. Then I come down here and there's a thousand zombies here. Oh, poop. There we go. Then once they're there... I need to turn down this... Poop. I need to turn down the volume again. Gosh, you guys can probably barely hear me. There we go. So, what I do... Wait a second. I forgot the crucial step. Okay, so you also have to put a chest under here so you can get all your things. And if you have a cleric, clerk, cleric, I don't know how to say it, but if you have it, then you can trade all their rotten flesh for stuff and you can get a bunch of special drops and stuff. And if you have mods installed, then you might be able to melt down the special the their special drops into actual cool things. Okay, so now they're all in here and you go so you listen for their screams, 19 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So you see, some of them died, I don't know why, but... Yeah, now you have a bunch of zombies that... I normally get six full levels with this. I normally get six full levels with this. The reason that I have this half slab here is so that the experience can come through. See, look at all that. I even picked up some. Look, look at all that stuff that you can like get thousand emeralds from a cleric in no time. Just nineteen screams or nineteen kicks of the legs. If you don't have the sounds on, then then you turn it off. But like. So what they do is, after you, so basically at 18 you should click it because there's also a little bit of lag that goes along with it, depending on how many zombies you have in there. But you might have, to, but hitting them twice is, is good, but that's only because if it's a swipe motion then you have to hit all of them twice, but if it's the, if it's the normal whack one person hit, with the sword, then it's, then you're fine. It'll kill them instantly. But at that point, they only have a heart left. To get them down to half a heart, you're gonna have to use like a dropping system. That's pretty hard to do, unless if you have like a surface one. To get them one hit, then you don't have to use the. That was funny, but <laughs> you won't have to use the things. So you can get enchanted stuff, not enchanted bows, sadly, but you can get enchanted. Shovels, pickaxes, swords, um, armor, any type of armor, and sometimes you can get, what is it called, um, fishing rods, too. So yes, that's, that's it, that's it for today. Have a, have a very, very nice and amazing, um, Day, then remember that that's a spawner. Um, four, four, two, two, nine, nine, five. Yes, there we go. So, yeah, you just go down here. Why did I leave this torch here? So, you, you want to keep that as, as dark as possible, obviously. Otherwise, they'll have a hard time spawning. Next time, next video hopefully will be a Minecraft Let's Play episode. Or maybe a roleplay, I don't, I haven't decided because I don't really have a schedule yet. Because, you know, I'm a small YouTuber with only 21 subscribers. Yep, so, bye.